the teenager who was shot by the Taliban and went on to become the youngest Nobel Prize winner. Meet Malala Yousafzai. Born in 1997 in Mangora, Pakistan, Malala grew up loving school. I want to get my education and I want to become, become a doctor. But all that changed in 2008. When the Taliban came, they started about they started talking about the girls' education that girls are not allowed to go to schools and they are not allowed to, to get education. Barred from school, Malala began speaking out. My people need me and I shall raise my voice because uh, because if I didn't uh, raise my voice now, so when will I raise my voice? A vocal advocate for girls' education, she gained international attention and with it, the wrath of the Taliban. On October 9th, 2012, Taliban gunmen boarded her school bus and opened fire. He said like, then he uh, fired three, three bullets and one hit you on the left side of, uh, of, of my head. From Pakistan, Malala was airlifted to a hospital in Birmingham, England, where she made a near miraculous recovery and kept on fighting. Just a year after her attack, she wrote a best-selling memoir and created the Malala Fund to champion every girl's right to an education. Two years later, 17-year-old Malala won the Nobel Peace Prize. This is where I will begin, but it is not where I will stop. I will continue this fight until I see every child, every child in school. Despite everything, Malala has managed to maintain a sharp sense of humor. And I know what's going in your mind. <laughs> not much, not much. <laughs> I can see I haven't heard anything yet. In, your <laughs> in 2020, Malala celebrated her graduation from Oxford. Whatever she's doing, Malala has one goal, to make the world safe for girls to learn. We have already taken many steps. Now it is time to take a leap.